So you may wonder where Nock is today. Well, okay, if you don't already know, Nock is doing Philadelphia Marathon today. But uh, I'm not with him. I had to come out to Bartram's Garden for another site visit for my studio. So I'm just exploring the meadow again. Which it's kind of cold and windy. I mean, you can probably hear the amount of wind. And I just want to get this done so I can go home. But you do get lovely views of Center City paired with uh, lots of blowing meadow grasses. So that's kind of nice. I'm going to have to figure out my project. But yeah. So that's that. <laughs> well, where am I now, you may be asking? Uh, I'm on a boat. Yeah, that's right. I'm on a boat. In the middle of a meadow. Still at Bartram's Garden. But I'm on a boat sailing through a meadow. Okay, it's not actually a boat. It's just a nice built man-made object in the middle of Bartram's Garden Meadow trying to highlight the views of the Schuylkill and Center City. It's like orienting you to Center City because that is kind of pretty. I think I'm almost done here. I would like to think I'm almost done here. But yeah, this assignment is more enjoyable than usual because I'm outside but less enjoyable than usual because I had to waste a lot of my time to get down here. So yeah, I'm on a boat! So I think I'm about done here. This is the little courtyard outside of the visitor center. But yeah, I think I'm about done at Bartram's Garden. Just trying to coordinate meeting up with Miss Philly Marathon. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna get out of here. It really is like quite pretty though. Especially in like the historic section. Like I think my doggie would like it here. But my doggie's not allowed in the historic section. We've got like the whole collection of plants and they're all like labeled. And it's like lovely. And then if we keep walking, we will go up to the main house. Which is right there. And I think there's a tour group. I'm gonna try not to bother them. But yeah, it's it's really pretty and I am really glad that I came back here again. Even if it was a bit of a pain. Yeah, that's the back of the main house. I don't feel like walking around the front, but I'm probably gonna come back here. This is my site for my studio project for the entire year. We're just using different parts of Bartram's garden. So we're starting in the meadow, which is why I was in the meadow today. But we're gonna use different parts of it throughout the year, all the way through the end of spring. So you guys are probably gonna get broad back here. Maybe we have a slightly better camera than this. But yeah, I think I'm signing off for now. Rejoin with the group. Well, well, it looks like I've been having uh, a lot of issues with my Adobe software. Started a few nights ago, and uh, well, actually, it started several weeks ago where I couldn't actually sign into the Creative Cloud app at all. And it would just repeatedly leave me in a loop of, you can't sign in, or like, you've been signed out, sign in again. 
and then I would click the sign in button and it would just reload the page over and over and over again and there was no way for me to sign in and which was obviously a problem because my apps are out of date and I needed to update them but if you'll notice here in the bottom of my thing there are no Adobe apps at all on my uh, in my desktop rack and that's because I this is I guess my next step of trying to fix things because I've been trying to talk to Adobe support over Twitter as I think I mentioned a few days ago and they sent me links to articles but the articles actually wound up making the things worse because the problem was that even though I couldn't update the apps the apps still recognized um, that my subscription was valid and it's true my card still has gotten charged I've, I've paid my bill on time completely and everything um, so hopefully if I now, that, now I can actually see the sign-in page, which is an improvement, but I legitimately had to uninstall everything and use like two cleaning tools to, that Adobe provides just to legitimately clear out your cache so you can try this again. But he, seeing this is, the, the, the login window is a, is a good sign, but now I have to re-download everything if it works in the first place. But it was actually detecting that I was not a Creative, cl uh, a creative Cloud subscriber. Which is completely and totally incorrect, and um, let me pull it up over here before I show you something personal. Um, so I'm not going to pan up because there's information right above it, but right above this list is, uh, or this is the list of computers I have activated right now. And so it's not actually detecting that my desktop is activated. It's only detecting that my MacBook is activated right now, which is a, which is a problem. But it's an okay problem theoretically because theoretically now once I do this, I should have um, access to it again. So let me, let me try this. We'll figure it out. And then I want to go eat something soon. And theoretically, if I go eat something, I can go eat something and let this install. Well, conveniently enough, um, Photoshop does appear to be working after reinstalling it. Well, working might be a little bit generous because apparently either my computer is lagging, which I don't think it is, or the new Photoshop is a uh, lagging piece of garbage. Uh, I'd agree with that because I installed the new Photoshop and it's always laggy for me, so... Which, if the new version of Photoshop is a lagging piece of garbage, that's technically not an issue. Well, it's an issue with the software, not an issue with activation or anything. But uh, I don't use Photoshop that often, so it's not the biggest deal in the world to me. I mean, <laughs> you saw how long it took to load the film and video templates. Um, yeah, so it's, it's detecting I'm logged in. This is the new version. This is 2018. Um, who knows? Uh, I'm going to wait for the rest of the things to, in to install. I want to go down to eat food. I'm sorry, that's really bright. But the Adobe programs are also bright. Or dark. But, um, I'm installing the programs. Lightroom Classic 2, because that's a thing that exists. And I'm just going to let this happen, and uh, I'll see if things work a little bit better once we're done. But I haven't seen the activation screen, which is a bad sign and important that we're not seeing that. Okay, well, uh, this is uh, interesting. Uh, for those of you who think that Apple created um, Live View, which apparently takes some video around when you take your photos, you'd apparently be mistaken, because apparently um, your camera does this. Yeah, my Canon point-and-shoot does this. Yeah, so the vlog stuff you saw from earlier today is going to be here. I'm not going to include this, because this thing is literally eight and a half minutes long of this. But it's literally just short video clips with audio and like a little like fake electronic shutter sound put in whenever the whenever it takes a picture. Well, I mean, there's also like 200 something pictures, and if it did this for all the pictures I took today, no, there's no reason. Like, it makes sense it's eight and a half minutes long. Like, yeah, no. So this will not be in, but it's just very interesting. And I actually googled something about it, and the only thing I could legitimately find on this was actually like linked to the camera like one model year newer than this so i think this is like a really exclusive feature to your little canon My camera stupid right here canon camera yeah but yeah it's kind of weird because this is literally like what i would like the live view thing 
or whatever that's called, does on the iPhone. And it's like, I like literally like haven't used the camera in so long. Like I forgot it did shit like this. So like I had no idea it was doing this, and uh, I was talking to myself like an idiot while walking around Bartram's garden, trying to like talk to myself and figure out my problem for my for my class. So you can like hear little snippets of me like talking architectural to myself, and it's slightly embarrassing because I had no idea I was doing this. Yeah, we're not going to include this just again because there would be no point in us including this, but it's. Oh dang! You got hot chocolate on your floor. <laughs> okay. <Oops. laughs> But yeah, it's just a little bit ridiculous, I think. But so Acrobat is installing. It's the last thing I need to have installed. And all this other, all these other programs supposedly work. Again, albeit very apparently slowly. But I should be able to get back to work here in a little bit. Should be. Is the key part of that phrase. Well, it does appear that I have everything working for now. For now, is might be the key part here, but, uh, well, I'll take it. Um, none of the articles that Adobe Support linked me to had any real semblance of working, so that's my, my recommendation to you, is just legitimately uninstall everything should this happen to you, and then reinstall it, I guess. It's a painfully slow way to do it, but... It seems to have done its job, I guess. I'm back up and I'm able to edit. Well, tomorrow at least.